If you plan to spend nearly 60 years in the energy business, it helps to have a lot of energy yourself. And no one has proven that better than T. Boone Pickens. He reigned at the top of the oil industry, fought to revolutionize corporate structure, and now promises new hope for breaking foreign oil stranglehold on America. I want to talk to you about a huge problem uh, that this country has. He's T. Boone Pickens, and he's talking to everyone about his plan to solve America's energy crisis. The country's in trouble. We are in an emergency. We have gotten ourselves into a trap. I do have a plan. We're going to use wind, we're going to use solar, and we're going to use natural gas. It's cheaper, it's cleaner, it's abundant, and it's domestic. But Pickens, or Boone as he likes to be called, wasn't always into alternative energy. Far from it. The 80-year-old powerhouse spent most of his life as a successful oil man. Growing up in a small town in Oklahoma, he learned his first real lessons in business from his grandmother. She had six small rent houses that my grandfather had built, and so she asked me if I'd like to cut the lawns on them for the summer. So she said, well, now we're going to enter into a contract. And I said I would uh, do it for 10 cents a lawn. So I didn't realize how big the backyards were. I was so glad the summer was over and I could start back to school. Today, he sums up these life lessons into nuggets of wisdom he calls boonisms. You've been invited to a duck dinner, and you're going to have to bring the duck. Boone studied geology at Oklahoma State University, and within a few years of graduating, had already started his own oil and gas company, which became Mesa Petroleum. Over 40 years, he built up Mesa by acquiring one oil company after another. By the 1980s, he earned himself the dubious title of Takeover King. I don't want the other guy to do that. I just want to be. Still, Boone wasn't quite satisfied. I did believe shareholders owned companies and managements were employees, and that uh, caused me a lot of problems with managements that they somehow thought they were owners by default. Today, viewing shareholders as company owners is standard business practice. After nearly a half century at the helm of Mesa, at the age of 68, Boone stepped down as chairman and CEO. But retirement never entered his mind. He stayed active as ever, focusing on philanthropy and personal fitness, and founding BP Capital, an investment firm specializing in energy. You know, I see some of my peers that have kind of put their feet up and taken it easy. and. Uh, I think I prefer just to keep running. So why did the quintessential conservative oil man turn alternative energy advocate? For Boone, the answer is simple. When something isn't working anymore, you change it. When you're importing almost 70% of your oil, then you start to look, well, what do we have here to get away from that addiction to foreign oil? The lack of a coherent plan for this made him more and more frustrated. Ready, aim, fire is what it should be, and it's ready, aim, 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 and they can't ever pull the trigger. So he launched the Pickens Plan, a proposal for America to achieve energy independence through the use of domestic wind power, solar power, and natural gas. A fool with a plan is better than a genius with no plan. And he put his money where his mouth was, with BP Capital investing heavily in these renewable energy sources. I think a lot of people were surprised when I said we have to go to renewables. We have some resources that we've done very, very little with, wind being one of them. It's good. Boone is determined to change that. He's building the world's largest wind farm at the base of America's wind corridor in Texas. The farm promises to generate 4,000 megawatts of power enough to continuously power 1.5 million homes. A well-analyzed problem is a problem half solved. And energy isn't the only resource he works to protect. Education, medical research, and wildlife are just a few of the others to which he dedicates his time and money. I look forward to the day when I give away a billion dollars. and I'm gonna have a big party when I do that. 
For the moment, though, he's investing his energy in the future of energy in America. This can all be accomplished in less than 10 years if you have the right leadership, and that's the key to it. We have to have the right leadership, and everybody in this country has to cooperate. We have to get on the same team. We have to march in the same direction. It's that simple. The 2009 Bauer Award for Business Leadership is presented to T. Boone Pickens. For more than 50 years of creative and visionary leadership in energy production and delivery, and for his recent focus on domestic renewable energy. Pickens' philanthropic leadership has contributed to advances in education, medical research, and wildlife conservation. 